Katie Price has teased a new song despite previously being trolled for her vocal abilities, after admitting Shed wanted to be a pop star since she was a child. The 45-year-old announced on Thursday that she'd be releasing a cover version of the 1986 hit, We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off by Jermaine Stewart, in just a couple weeks' time. Speaking on her podcast, The Katie Price Show, the former glamour model couldn't hold back her excitement as she treated listeners to a preview of the recording. This will be the first time anybody's heard the full song here, she said before Sophie joins in to call it an exclusive. Katie then plays about 30 seconds of the song, which is a ballad edition of the fast-paced original. When it's finished, Sophie commends the rendition as very good, before encouraging her famous sister to perform it at their upcoming live podcast show. Elsewhere in the discussion, Katie gets candid about her complicated relationship with music. While admitting she has always loved to sing, she struggles to pull off tracks that have not been written specifically for her. What bothers me is, if a song is made for me, I can sing it, she said, noting that her renditions of Whitney Houston's music have often had her compared to the original songs of the late American superstar. Katie has received strong criticism in the past for her musical pursuits, with many people claiming the former Emma celebrity star isn't vocally talented. Katie, who has convinced you that you can sing because they need to be locked up? Listen, love, you can sing, you shout, screech, but you don't sing, you are obviously hearing something different to everyone else. Stop, stop, stop. One particularly harsh commenter wrote, she actually really thinks she can sing. She can't, another said. Katie first entered the music industry in 2006, when she released an album of covered wits with her then-husband, Peter Andre. Unfortunately the record, which was titled A Whole New World, achieved little commercial success. She also auditioned for the 2005 Eurovision Song Contest with a song named Not Just Anybody, but the country ultimately decided against sending her to represent. She again her hand again at music in 2010 and 2017 by releasing two solo singles, before returning to the recording studio with X Factor's Scarlett Lee in September 2023. According to Inside Sources, the Big Brother star is convinced that music is the way forward for elevating her celebrity status. She's telling her team to find new ways to make money from the brand and is even restarting her pop career and is getting a song written for her, a source told The Sun. Katie thinks she'll sell loads of downloads and she can tour nightclubs singing it. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.